Hello, my name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Van Life where we look at off grid power van conversions, lithium ion phosphate batteries and everything in between. In this video, I'm going to be top balancing and capacity testing these 200 amp hour uh, KTL cells that I received recently from China. So the brand spanking new, uh, on the face of it, just looking at the uh, cells themselves, they look good, they look grade A. Uh, we bought them from a very reputable uh, reseller. And so I'm gonna be documenting the testing process as I make this battery and test these cells. So let's get at it. Okay, so these KTL cells are now fully charged. So I've top balanced them here just with what I call a slow top balance, which is uh, where I just put a low amperage. So I have two of these connected here just to make it a little bit faster, but they were each charging at 10 amps each. They've charged the battery cells up to 3.65 volts. Uh, so they're now fully, fully charged and they are top balanced. So now what we're gonna do is take all of this off connect up some of our testers. So these are the testers that we're using, uh, which we bought from Alibaba. They, um, I don't even know what the brand is, but they work pretty well and they're reasonably accurate. We've used them a lot. We've tested a bunch of different battery cells with those very testers. They're slow draws. So I think the max that they'll draw is probably around 15 amps thereabouts. Uh, so uh, it'll take a while, probably the best part of a day to deplete uh, these cells at 200 uh, amp hours. So um, <clears throat> what we're gonna do is I've got four of these testers. I'm gonna connect one to each of the cells. And we'll just run them simultaneously and then we'll just mark off and just document which, uh, how each of the cells performed uh, to see how they do. So uh, let's set this up and we'll get testing. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. We've got all four testers uh, busy winding away there. Uh, we've uh, put them onto each of the cells here and torqued them to seven Newton meters, which is plenty for this sort of test. It's a really low draw. So each of these testers are drawing around 13 amps. Uh, so that'll take a good while to deplete these uh, cells. So these are 200 amp hour cells. So we'll just let them run. They'll just keep drawing constantly and tracking how many amp hours they've drawn from the cells until they get to a low voltage disconnect. Uh, which is set to 2.5 volts. Uh, so once it hits that, it'll then stop testing and we'll be able to see what the results are. So we'll leave that going and we'll check it later. Okay, so the first uh, capacity test is done. As you can hear all the beeping here around me. So I'm gonna turn all of the dials down on all of the testers. We've got four testers here, one for each cell. And then I'm just going to hit the button and they should stop beeping. Uh, so when you're testing cells like this, 
inevitably what happens is that because you're drawing a current uh, from the cells through the terminals etc the voltage of the cells will be lower than they actually are if they were if there wasn't a current on them and uh, so I, I set the low voltage disconnect on the testers to two and a half volts but inevitably once you stop actually drawing power from the cells the when the cells set a little bit they may be like 2.8 volts somewhere on there so it's pretty safe but as i mentioned before these cells were rated at 202 amp hours by the manufacturer and looking at the testers i'll just read them all out to you here so this is in order of the cell so cell one two three four and here we've got cell one tested out at 205 amp hours cell two 207 amp hours cell three 208 amp hours and cell four 207 amp hours so that's pretty much bang on what we'd expect um and the fact that it tested above capacity is great news for us really pleased with that result so now i'm going to assess the battery with the BMS and we're going to do a capacity test of the whole battery with the BMS using the BMS as the low voltage disconnect and see how it tests out with the BMS doing balancing see if we get more capacity out of it generally speaking you don't get much more from my experience but we're going to do it anyway and just see what the results say okay so we've got the battery built out here and top balanced with the BMS on so now we're going to connect up a uh, capacity tester and we're going to do a capacity test based on the completed battery uh, fully assembled like this so let's see what it does Okay, so we've got the capacity tester all set up here. I'm going to turn that up now and leave it. It'll probably take the best part of uh, 12 hours thereabouts. We're gonna be drawing roughly around 15 amps or so. Uh, so it'll probably take about 12, 15 hours to deplete this battery completely. And obviously uh, we, the BMS is what's going to do the low voltage disconnect for us. Uh, so when it gets to that low voltage that I've set on it, uh, it'll cut off and protect the cells and we'll be able to see if it has given us what the manufacturer said it should. Well that my friends is the sweet sound of the capacity test having finished. So I'm going to dial this back and then when I hit that button we can see we got 207 amp hours on this test. Uh, so I'm actually I'll just show you there once again 207 amp hours you can see there. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, that's pretty much exactly what we got for on the individual cells are all around the average. I think the average was 206 amp hours. So considering that these cells are rated at 202 amp hours, I'm very pleased with them. Uh, so far, uh, just from the testing that we've done, these Katel cells are great. Uh, I'd put them on a par with EVE and any of those other sort of similar type uh, lithium ion phosphate prismatic cells. Um, so I definitely recommend these uh, if you're looking for a an affordable, really cost-effective way of building out a lithium battery. Uh, building a battery like this, all in, I think these cells were like $80 per piece, somewhere around there, maybe $90 per piece. And you consider the BMS, I think, was like $140, something like that. So for under $500, uh, built out a 200 amp hour battery bank, if you were to uh, build the same battery bank out of lead acid you would probably need at least three maybe four lead acid batteries so you'd be looking at at least 350 probably close to 400 maybe even a bit more uh, dollars to build out an equivalent capacity uh, and then your replacement costs of that are massive so these will do three and a half thousand cycles lead acid will do two to four hundred cycles so you're talking about uh, you'll, you'll replace those lead acid batteries 10 times before you'll replace this battery. So super pleased with it. Uh, yeah, can definitely recommend. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful or at least entertaining for you. Uh, and tune in next time. We're going to be posting videos regularly here. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.